Before we throw the floor open for the open question and session, I would like to give to the viewers two important messages. The first is my message on the eve of the independence of my beloved country, India. Today is the 15th of August. 2020, it is the 73rd anniversary of the independence of India. I would like to inform the viewers that Alhamdulillah, several centuries before, India was one of the most powerful countries in the world. It was one of the richest countries in the world. It was one of the most resourceful countries in the world. It was the most forward country in the world, alhamdulillah. And India was ruled by the Muslims for about a thousand years. And when the Muslims ruled India, alhamdulillah, all the Indians, irrespective to whichever religion they belonged, whether they be Hindus, whether Muslims, whether Christians, whether Sikhs, all of them, they lived harmoniously together. And the country developed and it was one of the best countries in the world to live in. Yes, there were wars, but that was for power, that was for land, and on both the sides you would find Hindus and Muslims. There was no war based on religion. The human beings on the platform of religion, they did not fight with each other. And Alhamdulillah, the advancement that India made was phenomenal. Until a couple of centuries before, the Britishers, they came to India. They came to India to do business and they formed an East India Company. But what did they do? They came to India, they looted India. They cheated India. They ruled India. They ruined India. They destroyed India. They took away all the resources of India, all the wealth of India to the country. And they made India a country which was known to be one of the lowest countries in the world. The GDP went down. The wealth went down. It was at its lowest. Alhamdulillah. There were tens and hundreds of thousands of Indians from the Hindu community, from the Muslim community, from the Sikh community, from the Christian community, who unitedly fought for the freedom of India. And Alhamdulillah, 73 years before, on the 15th of August, 1947, my beloved country, our beloved country, India, it got its independence, its freedom from the clutches of the Britishers. But unfortunately, when the Britishers left India, they left behind the disease of divide and rule. From the time the Britishers left in 1947, more than 65 years later, Alhamdulillah, India kept on progressing. After independence, for more than 65 years, India progressed economically in terms of wealth, in terms of education, in terms of science and technology, and it advanced. And Alhamdulillah, again India, though did not reach on top of the world, but it came somewhere, Alhamdulillah, close to the developing country, and India progressed. But unfortunately, since the last six years, especially last four to five years, India is deteriorating again. The GDP has gone down. The wealth has gone down. The economy has gone down. The unemployment has increased. And there is more lynching. There is anarchy. There is loss of peace. Since this present government has come to power since the last six years, we find that our country is deteriorating. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he free us also from the clutches of this fascist new government that is controlling my beloved country for the last six years. I could see a ray of hope last few months. When this government bought laws against the minority, especially the Muslims. Alhamdulillah, the majority community, the Hindus, they stood shoulder to shoulder with the Muslims. 
the Christians came forward, the Sikh came forward and Alhamdulillah they stood shoulder to shoulder with the Muslims against the wrong policies of the government. A few months ago the same government engineered riots in the capital city of the country India and the main aim was to disturb, to kill the minority, especially the Muslims. And they engineered a riot. Alhamdulillah, you could find many people from the majority community, many from the Hindu community who risked their lives and they saved the lives of many Muslims. At the same time, many Muslims in the Muslim majority area, they saved the lives of the Hindus. This is what is unity. And we can see that inshallah again, India may go back to its glory. I would like to tell this new government that you can fool some people some of the times, but you cannot fool all the people all the times. The best way that a country can develop is when there is peace, when there is harmony, when there is development, when there is economic growth, not when you try and divide the community, the people of India on the basis of religion, just for power and money of a selected few people, the politicians, they are destroying this country. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he get this beloved country of mine, India, independence from this government. And inshallah, inshallah, I feel that time will come soon again when India again will be a superpower.